Congratulations on writing your first program in any language. For anyone who doesn't already know, here is what your first program should look like. Now, I believe that from the lessons up until now, you should understand how and why this works. However, a few things should be addressed. Here we had our first exposure to some of the syntax of a specific programming language, in this case C. We also learned our first simple function, which is printf. Now, in a previous lesson I explained that include statements effectively copy and paste the contents of one source file so that you can use it in your program. For many languages, including C, this is exactly how it is done. However, I want to go over a bit more of this. The idea when using an include statement in general is that you are saying, this file has something I want. I want to be able to make the functions that are in this file available for use within my program. Every programming language makes it possible for you to separate code into multiple files and then make those files available for the programs you write as you desire. When you say include stdio.h, you are basically saying stdio.h is a file that has functions in it that I need to use. In this case, one of those functions is printf. There are many others, and we will go over them later. Now let's talk a bit about the main function. As I explained in previous lessons, some languages require you to define a main function, but I did not go into the details of why this makes sense. When we talked about functions, we learned that they had arguments, that is, things that you send to the function, as well as a return value, which is what the function gives back when it's finished running. Did you know that even programs that you run operate in exactly this way. For example, with Firefox and most web browsers, you could actually run the program by typing in the program name and then a space and then the actual website that you want to load in your web browser. Well, in this example, you are giving Firefox an argument, and that argument is the URL you want it to load. Next, programs tell the operating system an exit status, which indicates whether the program was successful or had an error. When you return zero, you are telling the operating system this program finished successfully. When you return anything other than a zero, you are telling the operating system that there was a problem. So from this explanation, you should be able to understand that programs work in much the same way as a function works. Programs have arguments, and they have return values, just like functions. Remember in an earlier lesson, we talked about the importance of specifying data types whenever you work with data, to tell whether or not you want to work with a number or text or something else. When you define a function, you have to specify what data type you will be using for the return value. For example, is it going to be returning a number or something else? The word number can mean several things. We will go over that later, but for right now I want to introduce you to the most common number type, the integer. In C, as well as in many other languages, you specify integer by simply writing int, I-N-T. Integers are all whole numbers. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but they do not include numbers that have decimals. For example, 1.5 is not an integer. However, there are limits to how high you can go, and I'll explain that later. 
for right now, remember that in C, you specify that something is going to be an integer simply by writing int. So in our main program, we are returning an integer as a return value, a whole number, in this case, 0. Therefore, we have to specify this when we create the function by specifying the word int in front of the function. Now we are saying our main function returns an integer when it is done. Lastly, the void inside of the parentheses says that we are not sending any additional information to the program. So in the example I showed you where a web browser program might allow you to send a URL, then you would not put void here because it would take arguments, but I'll explain exactly how that works later.